Khalif Raymond is balling out. Let's talk Lions. Welcome back. Thank you everybody for being here, for subscribing to the channel, for liking this video, doing all the things you can do to help me, for sharing it with your friends. In fact, I don't know how many of you know this, but I did start a second channel. That's right, myself and a co-host, his name is Christian. The show itself is called The Lemon Boys. Welcome back to The Lemon Boys. I'm Jay. I'm Christian. And we're the Lemon we're the lemon boys. We're the lemon boys. <laughs> and you're gonna have to deal with it. And you're like, why? Well, that's a story for another day. Lemon Boys is actually a show that covers all different facets of sports, things that are going on in the news. And it's myself and the co-host just discussing what we're seeing, what we're seeing unfold, our thoughts about it. Very simple. You can either click the link up here or go to the link in the description below. Check it out. Drop in the comments that you came from Let's Talk Lions. This way, I know that's where you came from. Hope you guys enjoy it. It's a good time. It's a good time. Now, I just want to encourage you all, if you have never gone to training camp, I highly suggest you go. In fact, there's still a few dates left that you as the public can go in for free and watch our boys play. Watch our boys practice. Be able to see with your own eyes what the team is looking like. So real quick, I just want to kind of tell you guys my observations, what I saw with my own eyes, and very specifically hone in on one individual, and it's Khalif Raymond. My God. Listen, our wide receiver core through this offseason, we saw guys like Kenny Galladay leave, Marvin Jones Jr. leave, right? We see all these big playmakers moving on, and so it's been a huge question mark. The Lions wide receiver core mediocre at best like that is definitely an area where we are getting a lot of i don't want to say negative reviews however there is a lot of unknown you have guys like terrell williams who didn't play the 2020 season due to an injury you have guys like Rashad perriman coming in who had sam darnold throwing him the football and it wasn't great you have some young guys quintus cephas second year you have amon ross st brown first year you have all of these guys and Truly, the wide receiver core in Detroit is a bit of a unknown. Well, let me tell you something. Khalif Raymond, when we originally signed him this offseason, he came from the Tennessee Titans. And originally, seeing him come in, his numbers don't pop. His numbers, when you look at his stats of the last few seasons, nothing about it. You're like, oh man, I'm so amped to have that guy in the field. I got to tell you guys, watching him actually practice with my own eyeballs, seeing him on the field, this guy is bawling out. And I am so excited for Raymond. After watching him in practice, this boy wants it bad. Khalif Raymond was an absolute workhorse out there. He was constantly getting separation from the DBs. He was making beautiful catches, weaving in and out. I gotta tell you, watching Raymond, not only does he want it bad, but he is really making himself a threat on the field. One that I was not really anticipating. I really saw Raymond coming in and being our starting punt returner, but I didn't know where he would fit in on the wide receiver core. The slot is where he plays. That's where he makes the most sense. And I gotta tell you, watching him with thine own eyes, I was like, yo, this guy is really putting in the work to be named the starter at the slot position. And honestly, I love it. I love it. His agility, his speed, the separation, everything he's doing, he is earning himself that starting position. And I gotta say, it's not just this practice. It has been all of training camp. He has been proving himself to be the guy. And really, you look at the competition between him and Amon Ross St. Brown for that, it's going to be a very intriguing rest of August. The preseason games coming up, but I gotta say, Khalif Raymond, a guy to keep your eyes on throughout the rest of training camp. Also, a huge shout out to subscriber Carl. Carl came up to me at training camp, was like, bro, let's talk lines, what's going on? It was super cool to be able to talk to a subscriber, somebody who's been following along, somebody who's been a part of what we're doing here. That was awesome. So just a huge shout out to you, my man. That does it for today. I just wanted to give you my observation of Khalif Raymond, really of the work that he is putting in, of the speed, the agility, the separation, and his hands. He is making some beautiful catches 
the guy is earning that position. That's really what I wanted to talk to you about today. Again, don't forget, go find Lemon Boys. You can click the link in the description. That'll take you right there. Sub, throw it in the comments. Let me know that you're uh, here from Let's Talk Lions. I look forward to seeing you there. And as always, again, here on Let's Talk Lions.